What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Nastroid is about to get picked up by Jacob, the GM man. Um, YouTube link in description. He is going to be doing Nastroid. He is the guy that did the dually, and it turned out really good for the amount of time that he had. You know, he told me that from the beginning. He's like, if you want my best, I need four weeks, because he knows what it takes to do it the right way. He's probably gonna be here any minute, and um, he's gonna have Nastroid for about a month, and hopefully it turns out really good. Now we are going to go with the factory paint scheme again. And we do have new fender for both sides just because there's a little bit of rot here. New door for this side because it is rusted up and on the underside. Um, and you can actually stick your hand right up and through there um, and touch inside the cab. So new inner and outer rockers for both sides. New cab mount for right there. And other than that, that's about it. Got the inner fenders in here, just buckle that one down in so it doesn't slide over and hit him in the head or something driving it. Um, and then we've got the other one in the back seat. Hopefully that doesn't get annoying. Should be fine. And then we've got just strap down rockers, cab mounts, door for the driver's side. Passenger door doesn't have an ounce of rust on it. Nothing at all, not even surface rust. Um, so that's all good. So hopefully it all turns out great. Really excited. He's pretty confident he can do a good job with this, especially if I give him the adequate time and resources to make sure that you know it'll, it'll be able to get done the right way. You know, because you know it's different when somebody does something and they're not sure, you know, and they try to just do it real quick. But you know, it's another. It's on the other hand, it's like when somebody knows if they just have a little bit more time, it's just going to get done right. Just if you just give them the time and let them do their work. It should turn out great, so I'm really excited to see it with the original two-tone back and no rust on the body. Get a good long look at it. Rust, rust, lots of flaking paint, I mean everywhere. Rust, and the frame is really in really good shape. It's just the body on this truck. So, well, it's the last time you're going to see it like this. So if you want to keep up with the build, project in terms of the body work, paint work, all that stuff, definitely go check out Jacob's channel down in the description. Joshua Foster, YouTube channel Joshua F. He's starting to pop more videos up on there here. Got a new camera, just like this one, so it's gonna be awesome. Um, we're actually headed to pick up the red version. I figured it was a good video to save the rest of the footage from the first part of the video um, from Jacob the GM man picking up Massey Red for paint and body work. It'd be good to save those clips for this video when we're actually picking up the red first gen with its new paint and body work that was done on the front fender. So uh, hopefully it turned out really good. They didn't charge me a ton just because I already had the fender removed and they were just putting on the painting and then putting on one fender. Um, so they didn't charge me a ton. But hopefully, I haven't seen it yet, but hopefully it looks really good. Almost like you would you would never know. Um, so I guess we will find out soon. Because there were some moldings and stuff I left with them too to try to put on there. Um, hopefully they saw them and you know put those on so anyways we will we'll get there in just a minute hopefully it looks good and then we're gonna go and run down on a few more things about the new giveaway coming up actually really soon actually sooner than I had anticipated what we kind of finalized in terms of what truck or trucks to put up for the giveaway we got the truck back and I uh, got the grill all mounted up and the first thing I thought I was like oh no like the grill ends up perfect on the fender they just replaced and it doesn't on this side by like a little tiny bit. And then I was looking at this first gen and it's super snug on one side and off by like a quarter inch on the other side. So I don't know what that is. It must just be a first gen thing. Um, but the fender's done. Looks good. The only thing that I totally didn't even say to them was to fill in these holes because I just kind of thought like they're going to see that there's no badging on one side. So they'll, you know, just fill them in for this side. But I didn't even think about it, um, you know, stressing that to them. So. Um, those those are there so all I'm gonna do is just put like the badging on it like that um, the actual badging on this side and then just grind off the, the pegs on the back of it 
and then just do the adhesive strips on the other side. Um, that'll be fine. And then we're going to put the moldings back on. I got to order that light piece right there. So just some other stuff like that. But otherwise, I mean, they did a really good job. And it wasn't near as expensive as I thought, you know. So, I mean, I had to buy the fender separately and I brought it to them. But including the fender and the paint job, it was about $500 even um, through the cost of the fender and the cost of the, the work that they did. So it looks pretty good. And they painted the front and back of this and then the inside of the cab and all that. So pretty excited. Looks good. And I'm glad it didn't actually cost me like a grand. Okay, everybody. So here's the other news that I wanted to talk to you guys about in terms of the truck giveaway stuff that I said we kind of discussed. So I want to say the number one pick truck to be given away was this one, the five speed first gen. Obviously it's clean, it's in really good shape. Other than that fender thing, the thing was all original until the fender. It's all fixed, it's all taken care of, and it wasn't as, as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. But anyways, all that aside, between Nasty Red, the Dually, and this truck, I said pick one, because we're gonna try to take a vote and figure out which one we wanna give away. This one had 54% of votes out of I think close to 4,000 votes on my YouTube polls in the YouTube community. 20 some percent and some change that wanted Nasty Red and it was a little bit higher in the 20 some percent and some change for the Dually. Nasty Red was the least voted truck to be given away, which I was actually surprised because Nasty Red's gonna have about 30 grand into it, you know, after I get it back and I pay the GM man for the paint and body work and stuff. Um, and do a couple of the real small things. That truck's gonna have about $30,000 into it. Dually's an awesome truck, and I, it's more fun to drive, honestly, than Nasty Red. I love driving the Dually. And this thing's a blast to drive, too. The five speeds are just way too much fun. But anyways, I was really shocked, but most people wanted this. So what we're gonna do, though, since it was still such a high percentage, it wasn't like, you know, 80% and then 10 to 10 for the other trucks. It was like 50% of the votes overall, though, were for the other ones, and about 50, a little bit more than 50%, you know, 54% or for this one. So what we decided is we're going to put all three trucks up for the giveaway. Now, not all three trucks are gonna be given away, okay? Um, that would be a little bit a little bit too expensive, a little bit too much of a risk um, to do, but I do wanna give something back because like I said, I just wanna keep on giving back to my subscribers, the people who buy the merch and watch the videos and you know participate and stuff like that. The people who participate and really make this stuff happen, I want you guys to be able to have that opportunity to win something back, you know, win some cool stuff, whether it be cash or a four-wheeler or a truck, you know, probably gonna be more trucks than four-wheelers and stuff, you know, from now on, just because it's just what you guys love. And it's what I love too, you know, I'm not like passionate about four-wheelers or passionate about giving away cash. I, I love these trucks, so I, since I love them, I know that if I were you guys, I would be extremely happy to win something like that because I just like these more. Nasty Red, the Dually, or the Red Truck, and the entry amount is only going to be $15. We knocked it down a lot so basically when you buy a shirt it's almost going to get you two entries per shirt um, versus just one so pretty cool stuff i think it's going to really just really give everybody a lot more opportunity and then also when it comes to just you know buying stuff if you don't want to spend much money 15 bucks is just very reasonable to be able to win something you know like that especially on a channel this small when you know we don't have hundreds of thousands of people enter the, entering these things it's usually maybe a couple thousand you know it's really not that many people that actually participate you can't replace the reaction somebody gets when they win something like that i mean that would just you can't even think about it because it just it doesn't happen to everybody but just the thought of winning a truck like that like even johnny when he won that you know the other the second gen giveaway the dude, like he didn't know what to say he's just like dude i'm just i'm at loss for words he's like dude i don't even know what to say he's like i've never had something like this you know happen to me before and there's nothing i can relate to explain the feeling of this right now you know what i mean like it's, it's just crazy, you know, it's a super, super cool experience. And it makes me just as happy to give this thing away. You know, like when you, like versus selling it, you don't really get any of like, like a good feeling out of it. You're just kind of like, oh, I just sold my truck. But when you get to give somebody something super cool that maybe hasn't had the opportunity to have one before, or hasn't quite yet got to that point when they could just go out and buy one, and they're just like, I want it for $15, like that's insane. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a cool experience you can't replicate by, just selling somebody the truck you know what I mean you know when you can just give it away and somebody can win it for a couple bucks that's the whole deal with that I don't want to sell them I'd rather just give them away and you know even if I lost money on the giveaway kind of like with the ATV giveaway um, I'd rather still do that because it, it feels better to give something away than it does just to sell it you know what I mean thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the support new merch is going to be dropped for this giveaway it's going to be crazy we're going to have a bunch of new cool stuff it's hard to keep up there's just so much going on it's really hard to keep up but I'm trying to 
really get some cool some new stuff out there so that you guys that have participated that you guys that are returning have new stuff to pick from and you know look through and just to see whether or not you want to participate with it again thank you so much for all the love and support hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you are new and join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace